Hello and welcome, friends and enemies, fans, stands, and sims. I do apologize, this is our unboxing video for the month of October for the Goddess Provisions second to last unboxing. Um, and unfortunately, I've been having some technical errors, so the box is already open. I haven't actually looked at what's in here, so we're going to do what we normally do. And first we're going to look at the art card that came with it. And it has Embrace Transformation. And it looks like the... Um, the theme is Fire of Transformation to this month. I don't know. There we go. So let's see what we have here. We're going to just start with the top. And this says that it is a mystical, mystical musings divination diary made with vegan leather and quartz crystal. Like I said, um, like I've said many times before, every item that comes in the Goddess Provisions subscription box is vegan friendly. That's one of the reasons why I chose this company out of all the ones that I was looking at uh, to um, subscribe to. So, like, there are other ones that don't guarantee the whole vegan thing, so you could end up with something that's made out of leather or animal bones or whatever, yeah, because there's, like, divination sets. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous little book. You see, it's got the moon phases, those hands, and that beautiful quartz that's, pretend that's you know, like a full moon. It's gorgeous. Okay, the thing, the uh, description is unleash your inner mystic and let your dreams and desires take flight with this vegan leather notebook embellished with a clear quartz stone. Oh, and it literally, okay, I thought this was going to be more of a guided thing because it says it's for divination on the thingy. Um, let's see, it does say, I don't think you're going to be able to read it. Ah, maybe you will. These pages are filled with magic. And then the pages are actually blank with a cute little drawing at the bottom of each one. They're, it's all the same drawing. So that's a really, really cute little journal. I don't know what I'll use it for because right now I'm working on the Loki journals that I bought. Um, but we'll see. Okay, this is Oro Enhanced Ceremonial Cocoa. Cocoa? Cacao? Cacao. Sorry. Oaxacan Spice. Yeah, that's how you pronounce that word, Oaxacan. And the only reason I know that is because I had a creative writing teacher in high school. And she spent all the time she wasn't at school, she was at Wa in Oaxaca. And I'm friended with her on Facebook now. And she is now living down there. Like permanently. Okay, 100% cacao from small family farms. Plus cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, and cayenne. Our very first cacao inspired by our travels. Let's see. Oh, these are little discs. It says to take one or two discs and let them melt in your mouth. Combine the rest with half a cup of l hot liquid, water, herbal tea, or nut milk. Whisk or blend for 15 seconds. Optionally add a sweetener. Try maple syrup or raw honey. We use agave here. But yeah, it's... So it's, it's literally little discs of chocolate. Kind of cool there. Um... The description says, um, indulge in a rich and celebratory experience of ethically sourced fair trade cacao, no matter which of these decadent transformative drinks you receive. So they had different ones. They had one with mushrooms, one with rose petals, and this Oaxacan one, which has the cacao, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, and cayenne. Cayenne. I said cayenne. Don't mind me, guys. Cayenne. Um, interesting. 
Okay, so what's this next thing we've got? Ooh, okay, I've seen these ones. Erethial, ereth, ethereal, ethereal embers. I can speak sometimes. And color magic ignites my practice. So they add... It adds vibrant colors. I'm trying to get it to focus on it. There we go. Adds vibrant colors to fire for up to 10 minutes. So you place these in your fire and it it'll make them it'll make it have like a rainbow effect. There'll be different colors. Um I've seen these before and thought they were interesting but never bought them. Let's see, transform your rituals with ethereal embers, add vibrant colors to your fire, and infuse your spells with magic. Bonus, comes with three packets for more fire color magic. Nice. Okay, and then, okay, this one is a yearly thing that they send out. Um, I'm trying to open it. I'm kind of bummed because the first one was a little nicer as far as these go. It came with like a stick to keep it but it's a it's a lunar calendar and it shows when the different phases of each moon is for 2024 and what I've always done with past ones is oh and it also has like the equinoxes I don't know if I can get this so you can see it it also has the equinoxes and the solstices at the bottom um, but yeah they do one each year and it, each year it has a different theme and sometimes it has different um, oh, I'm really feeling this one, though, because you got those snakes, which to me always speaks of Loki. But, um, yeah, they, they, um, do one every year, and sometimes they have different graphics as far as, like, what represents each month. And on here it says, seize every manifesting moment with our lunar calendar. Crafted with crystal-infused ink, it invites the enchanting magic of the moon and crystals into your sacred space. Which is nice. Um, we have one of my favorite stones. Let me see if I can get this open. only thing with their stones is they put them in these little plastic baggies, and they're not always easy for me to open. Oh, this is an unusual looking piece of hematite. Hematite is one of my favorite stones because it is supposed to um, absorb negative energy from the wearer. Like, I usually get hematite rings every so often to wear. And it's also supposed to keep negativity away from you. Ground yourself with the power of hematite. Channel the, its energy to find balance and strength in your daily life. And like I said, it's also supposed to be one of those one that dispels negativity. So that one's an interesting piece of hematite. It doesn't look like a lot of the ones I've had before. And last but not least, Fire of Transformation Incense Sticks. We have Greater Cardamom, Juniper, Sal Dupe, and lemongrass. I have no idea what sal dupe is. Kindle the fire of transformation with our short stick incense. Elevate your space and ignite positive change with every fragrant wisp of this handmade incense. I'm trying to see if I can get it open. It has 40 sticks of incense. And if I remember correctly, it'll come with a little itty bitty incense holder. Um, which I really don't need. I've got I now have 15 million little incense holders. Um, they're one of those things that seem to just collect. Maybe they multiply on their own. But, yeah. That's not true. I Some of them you buy because you think they're pretty. Some of them I've gotten in these kits. Ah! Okay, let's see if we can... I love this company's packaging. They actually do this thing where you have to wind that around. Let's see. And it has, I rise from the ashes of my past self and align my, align with my true purpose. This incense was handcrafted with love in Nepal using ancient Buddhist techniques. So yeah. And 
Uh, one of them's broken. But yeah, see, it comes with a little little incense holder. It's just a little black. Um, I think it's like polymer clay type of material to hold them. And then we have the incense sticks here. And I'm going to take the broken one and smell it just to... It's very herby and kind of spicy to the smell. But yeah. So as I always end these, you know, I mean, you guys should be used to this by now. But I always end these with the whole, you know, this box has always been worth it. It's always been worth the 33 uh, 99 that they charged for it and I'm very sad to see them going and we are going to have our last one I believe and of course that book um, I believe next month is the last one if I remember correctly uh, and I don't know what the theme is and I'm hoping they do something special since it's the last box <laughs> I apologize for the yawns during this. I've been really tired. I think I've told you guys my health journey and um, I'm still feeling kind of tired all the time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and if you like my content you might want to check me out on Twitch. It is twitch.tv slash Gillian G-I-L-L-E-O-I-N I have not started the podcast back up yet, like I said, because of all the health issues. I'm tired a lot. But I hope you guys have a great day. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you around. Bye, guys.